The name of the painting is called The Belly of the Beast. This is the original Tarzan, Otabenga. Vernon T. Bateman is a self-taught artivist, an artist and activist based in Indiana. Vernon's primary media is acrylic, and his paintings have been exhibited at the Bottle Works District, Dream Palace Books and Coffee, and other places. While his works are in several private collections, most of his pieces are philanthropic. They're gifts to the community, but are also gifts to Vernon, who told me he is, quote, just grateful for the opportunity to help others, end quote. He has so much to teach the world, like he taught me the story of Otabanga. This strip right here that's running through the painting, this represents the tribe that he was from. The flag on the background of the painting represent Congo. Otabanga was born around 1883 in the country we know of today as the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Otabanga was born during the, quote, scramble for Africa, end quote when European and U.S. powers devastated the continent and centuries of self-rule. At the time, it was called the Congo Free State. That's what King Leopold II, the monarch of Belgium, named it when his armies invaded the territory and engaged in numerous atrocities to enslave its people and exploit its natural resources. Otabanga's entire family was murdered by the Belgian colonists. Although Otabanga managed to escape, he was later enslaved. In 1904, a U.S. slave trader named Samuel Werner bought Otabanga for a pound of salt and a bolt of cloth. He transported Otabanga to the United States, where he put him on display in various fairs. Otabanga was placed inside a cage with gorillas. The slaver brought Banga to the Bronx Zoo in New York City, where he was put in a cage in an exhibit called the Monkey House. This right here? It's me raised inside the belly of the beast, inside the cage. Vernon Bateman was captured by the state of Indiana in 1998. At the age of 18 years old, he was forced to live inside of cages we call prisons. He was deprived of any company for years at a time. He has been out of prison for just over a year, but he still isn't exonerated, even though there's no evidence tying him to the alleged crime. The only eyewitness admitted he was lying later, and the alleged victim and her family have both called for Bateman's freedom. Throughout his 26 years of unjust incarceration, half of it spent in solitary confinement, Vernon managed to do tremendous work. During this time, he illustrated and wrote five children's books to educate our youth on topics like LGBTQ rights, bullying, gun violence, and more. Just imagine. Just turning 18, learning how to read and write, just learning that the brain needs certain emotions to develop. Then imagine living inside of a cage with gorillas. Then imagine living inside a prison cell with guys with hundreds of years and mental health issues. Although they tried as hard as they could, and they still are trying, they couldn't and they can't break Vernon. Neither could they break Otabanga. Otabanga and his non-human animals united. They survived together. Although the racist crowds laughed at them, as Vernon taught me, it was really Otabanga and his companions who were playing the real joke. They showed that nothing can break the human spirit and that through unity, we can overcome any obstacle of any system. This right here is a picture of Otabanga holding a chimpanzee as if it was his baby because the gorillas embrace him as if they were, he was they baby. Otabanga was freed, but it took a long struggle led by black clergy. They liberated him and they brought him to be housed and educated. Otabanga died a hero, a survivor and a fighter of both Belgian colonialism and US imperialism, but he didn't do it alone. I didn't know about the original Otabanga until Vernon showed me this painting and taught me through it. Just like there's a lot of people out there who don't know the story about Vernon Bateman. But the way that we get Bateman from here to here is by sharing that story. Both the story of the original Tarzan Otabanga and of Vernon T. Bateman. That's how we get Vernon free. <laughs>